All right, well, I'm still having fun with these uh, craft sticks and making little projects using those uh, tongue depressor craft sticks. This is a pulse motor. This is a uh, little rotor with magnets all facing north on the outside. sits on a needle, and that's just a uh, sewing machine bobbin full of 30-gauge wire and a reed switch, what they call a magnetic proximity switch. You can get them on eBay. The reed switch actually sits in there this way. And you notice how I have this right next to the uh, coil of wire? This was very strange. Normally you put the reed switch this way and let the magnets operate the reed switch directly, but for some reason it worked this way and it worked really, really neat. Uh, this is just an LED for the, uh, the flyback. And then uh, I've been trying all different kinds of things on this, the capacitors, and even this little tiny 1.5 volt watch battery button cell. This is the uh, circuit. It's extremely simplistic. It's the simplest pulse motor, electric motor you can make. It's a monopole. And this is what John Bedini became famous for, is the monopole uh, energizers. And you can see the... Uh, the diode there, the little LED that catches the flyback and sends it back into the circuit. And then, like I say, it's just mounted on a stick. And I called it the pulse motor on a stick. And uh, mid motor, this is the 24th of uh, August 2014. Okay, let me just show it with a capacitor here. Um, this is kind of fun. Everybody likes to see motors running on capacitors. And there it is running on a capacitor. Of course, people think I'm blowing on it. Something like that. Well, I'm not blowing on it. That's a real pulse motor. Take it in the dark here and see the light better. Got no motor uh, on the rotor. Uh, it's just a needle. I'll show you in a second. But uh, this is... Uh, was fun. You know, I had fun uh, using these uh, tongue depressor things for projects. And they're, um, they're real neat to be able to try to figure out what can you put on that stick that will work. I mean, what will, what will work on a stick? Now, the other thing is this little, uh, this little tiny button cell. This is really the reason for this video. When I was testing things with this, I tried one of these button cells. And then I forgot that I was doing it, and I went away and did something else. And I came back six hours later, and this was still running. It ran for another hour. It ran for a total of um, seven hours. Let's see if I can get it to go here. But that, for some reason, and I'm not quite sure, worked that little button cell. And I'm not sure the chemistry in the button cell. I don't know if it's alkaline or what it is, but uh, I was extremely surprised that that button cell would run for seven hours. Uh, when I finally did the testing on it, it was down to about uh, 120 millivolts, and it was drawn about um, 1 to 1.2 milliamps which doesn't make sense. You'd think it would be dead in a doornail and it wouldn't turn that rotor, but it did. The other interesting thing is when it finally stopped and I took the button cell off, the button cell recovered and it recovered some of its voltage and uh, then it would run again for a few minutes. So I thought that was uh, very, very interesting and I don't know what the chemistry is in that little button cell or why that pulse motor, the way that's set up, would do that. And like I say, uh, having the reed switch right next to the coil and the spacing of these magnets, the uh, counter back EMF that's going on there, the generator part of this, might have something to do with that. But uh, that was a very, very fun little project there. And all it is is it's a uh, lid, like I always use, with a gear out of one of those um, dynamo lights. And then uh, four neodymium magnets, all north facing. I put a little plastic bushing inside there, and then it runs up inside that gear. And then that's just a needle. And uh, I'm a lid motor. 
and it's the 24th of August 2014 and this was made in USA. Thanks for watching.